And they're off. Good beginning for America's Promise from Midpack, who heads out for the lead. Diamond Goal is there to his inside. Pardon me, utilizing the rail to full advantage. Also up close early is Choco Chip Hanover fourth. CR Kinetic is fifth on the outside. Victory Sam is sixth at the rail. Chasing Tail came away smoothly. Campbell being very careful with him. He's three wide early in seventh. Pegasus Spur looking to follow him from eighth. And Kremlin Conspiracy trails the field. Diamond Gold trying to work his way to the front and clear. Opening quarter was in 27 and four. Pardon Me is now back in second. Here comes America's Promise. Parked and pressing on the outside. He's second and up after Diamond Gold. Choco Chip Hanover is racing in fourth and he's edging to the outside. Then it's a gap of two lengths to Victory Sam. CR Kinetic six. Chasing Tail still seventh on the outside. And Pegasus Spur waiting for him to roll. He's eighth on the outside. Kremlin Conspiracy trails the field. And Burnt Linstead and Choco Chip Hanover are rushing up to challenge for the front. The half was in 55 and three. It's Choco Chip Hanover to take the lead from America's Promise who made the top between calls. Diamond Goal is now racing in third. Victory Sam gets past him on the outside. He's up into third position. Pardon me, has been shuffled back on the inside in fifth. Sixth on the outside, Chasing Tail, who's yet to fire. He's still nine lengths from the lead. Pegasus Spur behind him, and CR Kinetic is buried in traffic in a tough spot. Kremlin Conspiracy is trailed throughout. Three quarters in one, 24 and two, and they come to the top of the stretch, and it's all Choco Chip Hanover. Choco Chip Hanover, three lengths in front. Victory Sam racing in second. Pegasus Spur for the back of the pack with a late kick toward the outside. Kremlin Conspiracy closing in. He's up into fourth. It's Choco Chip Chip Hanover, Victory Sam trying to get to him with Pegasus Spur third. Victory Sam charging up for Tector. It is Victory Sam who drives by to win it. Choco Chip Hanover appeared to get second from Pegasus Spur, and it looked like, pardon me, fourth and one, 55 and one. For Victory Sam, three-year-old son of the great Valley Victory out of Raging Sam by Lindy's Crown, owned by Christina Tactor, the Anderberg Stables, and Christensen, from New Jersey and Sweden, trained and driven by one of the true trotting masters, Jimmy Tactor. Victory Sam won a prep race for the Hamiltonian last time out in 154 and three, and he picks up his second consecutive Big M victory today in 155 and one. Victory Sam, an upset winner in the second Hamiltonian elimination. Standing by in the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation from the Hamiltonian Society, we welcome Mr. Joe Thompson, the owner of Winback Farms in Delaware and Maryland. Also joined by Beth Bacall, on-air talent from Jammin 105. We welcome the good folks from Jammin 105 to the races today here at the Big M. So it is official, and it's Victory Sam in the second Hamiltonian elimination. Number four, Victory Sam pays 29.40, 12 even, 3.20. Second, number one, Choco Chip Hanover, eight even, 2.80. And third, number six, Pegasus Spur, 220. Exact of 41, $170.60. Trifecta 416, 467.20. Up next, the sixth race, the start of the $100,000 net pool guaranteed pick four. Also, Exacta and Trifecta wagering. It's the third Hamiltonian elimination, and there are no changes. In the pick four, there are no changes in the seventh race, the Million Dollar Breeders' Crown Trot. No changes for race eight. Also, no changes in the ninth race. So there are no pick four changes. It starts off with a minimum of $100,000 in the net pool. 17 minutes from now, post time set for 6.06. Six starts ago. Victory Sam came out of the box firing, and everybody thought right then that he'd be right here. But there was a couple races in between. Tell us about the season so far for Victory Sam. Well, he, he's a quite green horse. He barely raced last year. He had a lot of uh, maturity problem last year, and uh, he matured pretty good. Uh, and I, I wasn't really happy with him today because uh, I thought the track was very hard, and he did really disliked the track today, you know, so he was a lot better last week. But uh, I saw a lot of horses had problem with uh, the hard surface we raced on today. So we hopefully next week uh, put a little better cushion on the track. All his starts here at the Meadowlands this year, is that by design? Yeah, well, you know, that's the privilege when you have a New York City State coach that you can aim them a little better, you know, for the races uh, coming into the Hamiltonian and uh, even the young races like Peter Houghton and Mariana Bell. So, you know, I like to keep them at the race like they're going to race uh, the big races. 
a little extra special for you, the two eliminations so far, two Swedish ownership horses winning? Yeah, I was very impressed with uh, Stefan Melander's horse. He raced really good, and uh, I heard he'd been an uh, extremely tough horse. You know, I mean, I don't know what kind of horse he is. If somebody challenges him, you know, he'd been winning by open lengths every start, you know. So, you know, he looked tough so far to be, get beat. In, in Sweden, is Hamiltonian a very big deal? Uh, Hamiltonian is, uh, you know, just an honor to win it. It's uh, great, you know, and... Uh, Everybody in Sweden, you know, followed the harness racing very well in the uh, United States. Okay, Jimmy Tactor, good luck with Victory Sam looking to get in, in the final, looking to do some damage in the million-dollar final next week.